Already in the Apostles' Creed, when we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Right there, we see it. Yes, we believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord. But how did He come into the world? Through the conception in the womb of Mary by the Holy Spirit and then born of her, born of Mary. Jesus came into the world and then we see him out as an infant, as a child. For in fact, the vast majority of his life, he lived under Mary as his mother in obedience to Mary. He was nurtured by Mary, formed by Mary, taught by Mary, guided by Mary. And we believe, we know that we talk about one of the most famous books in Christianity is the imitation of Christ, right? That to be a disciple of Jesus is to imitate what Jesus did. Well, look at his childhood. Look at his life. Look how he chose to come into the world through Mary. So this is part of the mysteries. When we finally understand it, devotion to Mary is not just optional. It's essential. It's part of the nature of Jesus' own life. His love and devotion to Mary and his even submission to her in his human nature as a child, right? So, we too should pray for that. No one will ever love Mary as much as Jesus did. And likewise, no one loved Jesus more than Mary and knew him better. So Mary, again, will lead us to Christ and is the way as St. Louis de Montfort says, just as Jesus came into the world the first time through the Holy Spirit and Mary, so too he will come back again. He, his kingdom will come through the Holy Spirit and Mary.